friends today we are going to talk about some um, some tips where you can um, check which are the particular POs that are aging and you can archive it because when you are trying to archive your PO you need to check whether it has activities and all those things so this is the T code I'll mention it in the video okay so I go here and I this is the T code and here if you go you can see the description analysis program for data aging you can use this report to check before starting the data aging run which purchase orders are selected for data aging of which documents do not match the check rules the system checks if a purchase order has been processed completely and all. so here you can select these are the things that you can do for me it's very simple here you want to make sure you put a residence time that means the time in which there is no activity suppose i want to put suppose generally it would be suppose i don't know 365 days i don't know whether it will show anything but i'll sh show no detail log i'll say complete here okay and we'll execute just execute and let's see whether there we, we have some success whether we have some errors okay so here you can see these are all the errors ones because these are within residence time okay and if i want to sort it or if i want to sort okay let me see the green so these ones are the ones that i can take care of it because the last change date is 11 16 2018 if you see and these are good candidates for which we can do uh, for an archiving okay this is very very useful and you can use it all the time okay this is something that is available out of the box in s4 hana i need to check whether it's available in ecc but for sure it's used for s4 hana and you can use it because otherwise you have to do a check whether there is any activities here and there and this 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 really helps you but to check whether there is any activity or not okay so this t code is very helpful and you have good documentation in it you can also select based on vendor name so suppose you have a purchase organization that you are getting rid of the company code you are getting rid of you have sold it um, then you can always sort it based on that okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day